and a hammer. Whatever I do, please do not try this anywhere. Yeah? Watch. That's intense, uh, instant piercing, rather. Okay. I actually come from a family background of magicians. My dad is Professor M.C. Sarkar. So as I was growing, I was a part of his tricks. As this tiny little boy, he used to uh, you know, cut my mom into three pieces, and I would fit in the middle over there, and I'm like, ah. And then when I was about eight, uh, I happened to get this opportunity to go ahead and watch my dad perform live from there. I didn't want to do the exact same thing that he was doing. He had this loud makeup, about 20 assistants, uh, jazzy clothes, big turban, and he would go on and all mystic. And I was like, I don't want to do that, but I want to be a magician. So let's see how do we work that out. So curious little kid walking up to dad, always tailing him behind him, like, dad, what's magic all about? Tell me, How, what do you actually want? And like the concise version, came down to a paragraph, one sentence, and then at last, one word, psychology. So bingo, that is all what I need, though I didn't know what psychology meant at that time. So I figured out, okay, there is this interesting word, so uh, I was taught how to use the dictionary figured out psychology, okay, getting in the mind, how a human being thinks, and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, cool, this is what I got to do. Started off, uh, spent about 13 to 15 years of my life doing everything else other than magic. Nobody ever thought during that time that I would ever get into magic. I was into computers, electronics, waterproofing, call center, medical transcription, motivational speaking, mimicry. Man, I don't know, well, like crazy amount of things that I did, did really well, quit, moved on to the other one. People said that you're gonna, uh, actually you're mad. So the fact that after that, uh, I decided, okay, it's high time, I think I need to get back into my field. So walked up to my dad, uh, we have the School of Magic in Bangalore, which is one of the oldest one, and uh, walk up to him and I tell him, Dad, can you please teach me the art of magic? My dad is like, uh, no. You didn't hear me. Can you please teach me the art of magic? I want to be a magician, just like you, famous. No. Dad, you know what? I'm really smart. Give me 30 days. 30 days, and I shall go ahead and learn over 100 tricks, rather master them, and come and perform in front of you. My dad said, you know what? Seriously, you're taking too much time. Come back after a month. We'll talk then. Started practicing out, went crazy, 18, 20 hours, sometimes two, three days together. Practice, 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 and then came to a level wherein at the end of one month, I had over 100 tricks. Luckily, walked up to my dad, told dad, hey dad, you wanna see something interesting? I'm like, okay, can I have a volunteer please? Come on stage. And thank you, Ram. Okay. <laughs> I'm just not, kidding. I'm cute though. <laughs> That's fine. Ram, uh, dad, okay. So uh, what do you see here? Beads, perfect. Let me pull my sleeves back. Usually people say that a magician has something always up their sleeves. In my case, my hands. Pull this. Let me get rid of this quickly. All right, it's solid? Yeah. Again, don't try it. Perfect, put it here. Lubricate it a bit. I hate this part. You want to come here, Ram, just in case, so you can get a good look. Okay. <sighs> Ram.
from? Can I borrow your finger? Let us know if you feel something under the skin. You can move your head only if you feel something, okay? Can you? No, there's nothing there. Check. It should be somewhere around here. Can you? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Oh, stop pushing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Check my hands. One second. Anything? Yeah, clean. Nails in between the fingers? No? No. Okay. Can I have a zoom in, please, onto my face? Give me a finger, quickly. Can you feel anything? Slowly, you're, you're like trying to poke into my eyes. Yeah? Yeah. You can? Yeah. Nod your head. Yeah, he can. All right. Close in. Zoom in, please. Watch this. Come closer around. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Is that the solid bead? You can take that back as a souvenir. Thank you so much, Ram. Really appreciate that. Yeah. And I started doing crazy things like this. My dad was like, okay, you want to kill yourself? I'm like, no but I'm being creative, so I'm doing crazy things. I'm like, cool. At the end of it, I performed over 100 tricks. My dad watched patiently. And then towards the end of it, I said, now, I've kept my word up. Please teach me the art of magic. And my dad said, no. I'm like, seriously, what's up with this no thing? He told me, you know what, Yugesh? At this moment, you don't need to learn from me anymore. Now." You are a master yourself. You have gone ahead and learned it the hardest way. And it was just your willpower, your determination, and the fact that you believed that there was a possibility. You are now a master. Come back to me only for guidance and nothing else. And I was like, wow, couldn't this be done in an easier way? I guess not. My dad had to do this. But that was the lesson of my life that I learned that it's not always necessary that you have to be dependent on someone. You always need to have a teacher. It's not about just knowing the trick of the trade, but knowing the psychology behind it. And this applies to any field for that matter. You understand the psychology? You have it there for you. That's all. So before I go, you want to see something really crazy? Can I borrow a credit card, please? Yeah. Um, thank you. Vishal. Um, Vishal happens to be like family, so he's another paid assistant. That's it. All right. Watch this. Just started. Well, let's try it one last time. Let's see what else can we do with Vishal's car. I'm not giving this back to you, Vishal. Thank you so much, Vishal. There's your card. All right, this talk was purely dedicated to my dad. He's perfectly fine. No worries. Just before you start thinking that there's a sad story, by God's grace, he's absolutely fine. This is purely dedicated to him. Thank you, Dad.